Welcome to Lawrence's Metric Tool videos. This video will explain how to classify your discovered software. The purpose of software classification is obtaining accurate reports of your software inventory and license metric utilization that are in line with your license agreement. Correct assignment of discovered components to products as part of which they were deployed is your responsibility and should be based on information that is available in your license agreement. Automated bundling After a component is discovered, it undergoes the process of automated bundling. During the process, bundling rules are applied to discover possible component-to-product relations. Each relation is evaluated and assigned an internal score. The component is by default assigned to the product with the highest score. Software entitlements you can facilitate automated bundling by defining your software entitlements. Software entitlements are products that you owned and thus are allowed to install and use. These can be products for which you purchase licenses or ones that you obtained free of charge. When components are discovered, License Metric Tool tries to assign them to entitled products in the first place, which highly increases the accuracy of the automatic classification. You can define your software entitlements manually or by importing part numbers that also mark products as entitled. Both actions are performed on the Products and Metrics report. To import part numbers, simply click Import Part Numbers, select the CSV file and click Import. To manually declare that you are entitled for a particular product, select the product Hover over Entitle and click Set Entitlement. Assigning Components to Products To adjust the assignment of components to products proposed by automated bundling, open the Software Classification Report. On the report you can assign a single component to a single product, assign multiple components to a single product, share a component between multiple products, create a custom bundling. In the top navigation bar, hover over Reports and click Software Classification. Select a component or components that you want to assign. Hover over Assign and click Choose from Catalog. To narrow the list of displayed products, sort the results by columns or use the search bar that is available at the top of each column. If you define your software entitlements, type Yes in the column Entitled to view only the products that you own. Select the product to which you want to assign the component and the license metric that is suitable for your pricing calculations model. If you want to assign the component to a product according to a relation that is defined in the software catalog, simply select the product from the list. If you want to extend the current component assignment with the selected product instead of reassigning the component, select Share Component. The component will be shared between the product to which it is currently assigned and the selected product. By default, all assignments are confirmed. If you do not want the assignment to be confirmed, clear the Automatically Confirm the Affected Components checkbox. Finally, click Assign. If none of the products that is listed by default matches your license agreement, create a custom relation known as custom bundling. This action is usually not required unless you have a custom deal. For example, when the existing relation between the component and the product is charged, but your license agreement states that the component is not charged. To create a custom bundling, perform the following steps. Clear the list products for which the component is listed as a bundling option checkbox to view all products that exist in the catalog and select the appropriate product. Specify whether you want the relation between the component and the product to be charged or not charged. If you specify the relation as not charged, the component does not contribute to the license metric utilization of the product to which it is assigned. Assigning products to FlexPoint offerings and cloud packs. After you assign components to products, you can further assign products to FlexPoint offerings and cloud packs if you have any. Select the product, hover over Assign and click FlexPoint or Cloud Pack Bundle. Select the bundle to which you want to assign the product 
and click Assign. For more information, watch a related video reporting CloudPax in Nicest Metric Tool. Confirming the assignments. When the assignment of a component to the product is correct, you can confirm it. The task is optional. However, components whose assignment is not confirmed can be automatically reassigned to different products. It might happen when a new software catalog is uploaded during the upgrade of the license metric tool server or when a different product is suggested as the best bundling option based on the new results of automated bundling. To avoid such a situation, it is recommended to confirm the assignment of all components. Confirming the assignments can also be used as an indication of which software items were already reviewed and which still need your verification. Confirming the assignment is not a formal declaration. You can unconfirm the assignment at any time depending on your needs. In the top navigation bar, hover over Reports and click Software Classification. Select the component or components that you want to confirm. Hover over Confirm and click Confirm. You can review information about the percentage of confirmed and unconfirmed assignments on the Software Classification widget on the dashboard. Excluding products. Exclude a product when it is installed on a non-production test or backup computer and license information specifies that the product should not contribute to license metric utilization under these circumstances. When you exclude the product, all components that are assigned to this product and are installed on the selected computer are excluded from metric utilization. Excluded products and their components are still displayed on the software classification report. They are also listed in the audit snapshot together with exclusion comments. To exclude a product, hover over Reports and click Software Classification. Select the product that you want to exclude. Hover over Exclude and click Exclude Product from Metric Calculation. In the Comment field, provide the reason for exclusion and click Exclude. Suppressing components. Suppress a component when it is improperly discovered. For example, when some files were not removed from the computer after the component was uninstalled. Suppression applies only to the selected component on the selected computer. A suppressed component is no longer assigned to any product and thus does not contribute to metric utilization. By default, suppressed components are not displayed on the software classification report. You can show them by removing one of the default report filters. Suppressed components are not included in the audit snapshot in order not to obscure the view. However, the components and suppression comments are included in the audit trail. To suppress a component, hover over Reports and click Software Classification. Select the component that you want to suppress. Hover over Exclude and click Suppress Component from Inventory. In the comment field, provide the reason for suppression and click Suppress. Custom rules. You can create custom rules to automate the process of software classification. The rules automatically perform the action that is defined by the rule criteria. For example, when you create a custom rule while assigning a component to a product, the rule is applied whenever the exact same component is discovered in the future. Custom rules can be applied to a single computer or a computer group to which the user has access. In the top navigation bar, hover over Reports and click Software Classification. Filter the report so that it shows only software instances for which you want to create a custom rule. To filter the report, hover over Configure and click Configure View. Then select appropriate filters. Once the report shows only software that fulfills the criteria, press Ctrl A or Command A on Mac to select all rows. A custom rule can be created only when you select all instances that are currently displayed. Assign a component to a product. Before you confirm the assignment, select the Create a Custom Rule checkbox. Then click Assign. 
You can also create rules for excluding a product from metric calculations or suppressing a component. To view your custom rules, hover over Management and click Custom Rules. The rules are added to the panel in the order of creation and are applied from the top during the import. Here's the takeaway. 1. Discovered components are assigned to default products during automated bundling. 2. To facilitate automated bundling, define your software entitlements. You can do this by importing part numbers or manually. When components of a product for which you are entitled are discovered, they are automatically assigned to this product. 3. To adjust the assignment of components to products proposed by automated bundling, open the software classification report. You can assign one component to one product, multiple components to one product, share a component between products, or create a custom bundling. 4. When the assignment of a component to the product is correct, you can confirm it. This step is optional. However, it prevents components from being reassigned in the future. 5. You can create custom rules to automate the process of software classification. The rules automatically perform the action that is defined by the rule criteria. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the links below.